Hi there, face good mat, and welcome back to our fourth lesson um, of our Clarissa Beginner and Elementary classes. Um, I hope you've been enjoying all your other lessons with your other instruments so far, and um, I've been enjoying learning the tune that we've been playing. So we've been learning Carnera Vonath, which is the um, slow, slow song about uh, people sailing from Isla to Arran, and they're very, very excited about it. So we have done both parts, the A part and the B part, right hand melody, and we have done the left hand as well, and put it together very quickly at the end of the last lesson. So I think today we're going to start with doing a bit of a recap of the song. We're going to play all the way through the tune, just the melody, and we'll play the A part and the B part once each. We're then going to go back and play the A part again, but we're going to see if we can put it in our left hand, and um, same as the B part, we'll see if we can put our accompaniment in. Um, if you're someone who has picked up both hands quite quickly, um, then feel free to play both hands for the whole way through. That would be really good practice. And if you're someone who is still really working to get that melody nice and confident, feel free just to practice that right hand. That's totally fine. Obviously, you can go back over these lessons as much as you want. Um, so there's loads of time if you want to do more left hand a bit later on. Uh, so we'll get started. So I'm in the key of E flat, obviously. We're still in E flat, so all levers down. So just double check your levers. Um, double check the tuning of your heart, making sure nothing sounds too crazy, everything's nice in tune and if you need any music or if you've got your music just make sure it's out. Um, I hadn't mentioned as well but if, if you want to be taking notes as well that can be quite a good idea if you've got a notebook and pen just to write down anything that I say, any helpful fingering or, um, or tips to get around the heart with these pieces but, um, but yeah so we'll get started. Um, I'll count us in. And yeah, we'll just start. So just the melody to begin with. After three. Un, ya, three. Thank you. 
we're going to have a look at a second tune. We're just going to go over the right hand melody. It's a little bit faster. Um, it's a tune in a different key as well. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the key of G. Now for our levers here, we're going to have A, E, B and F levers. A, E, B and F. So feel free to pause the video and figure out where those levers are and get them sorted. The key of G, I know a lot of you will have played in the key of G before, um, so it should be okay. But yeah, feel free to, to pause the video and, um, and we'll just get these levers up. So A, B, E and F levers up to get into the key of G major. And while you're doing that, I'll just play this tune um, that we're going to do. It's a tune called Jumping Geordie. It's a traditional tune, a Scots tune, um, something a little bit different. And it's a reel, which is a faster tune in the time signature, a 4-4. Four, four. So you should be able to clap along to a nice steady pulse. And maybe see if you can do that while I'm playing the tune so you can identify the pulse. Um, yeah, so I'll go from the start after two. One, two. Jumping Geordie. Obviously, we're going to take it a little bit slower. Um, we're not going to have time to do left hand. However, I do have accompaniment written in your music. So if anyone ends up going over that with Emma, or maybe even next year when I see you, um, or if you can sight read music or you know someone who can, they can help you out with it. And maybe you can do some accompaniment stuff, or you can add in your own chords if you if you feel like you can. So that would be really good. But we're just going to be concentrating on the right hand melody. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb onto this high G. So if you're looking at the G that's in the middle, above middle C, it's a higher octave. The higher octave than that, G above the black string. We're then going to put our second finger above the red string. So we've got our thumb above the black on G, our second finger above the red on D, and our third finger is going to rest on the other side of the red string on B. So we're above the black and on either side of the red string. And this pattern or this shape is important because we're going to be coming back to this shape a lot in this tune. It's a, it's a lot around um, this pattern. So get nice and comfy on those notes, maybe taking your fingers off and putting them back on a couple of times just to see how quickly you're fine, you can find that and getting that pattern and that shape into your muscle memory. So the tune's gonna go down this pattern. Your thumb is holding for one whole beat and the other two are for half beats. It's going one and two and one and two and one and two and. And that's actually what happens. It goes on three times that pattern. So I'm just gonna do that same thing again so you can hear it. I'll do it nice and slowly. One, two, one and two. that together. After three. Un, sorry, after two. Un, ga. I'm going to play C, A, A. So you're going to put your thumb on that C, that our second and third finger were just on either side of. And you're going to move your second finger, it's going to miss a string, and go on to A. And you're gonna play C, A, A. So C and then two A's, and they're all even steps. C, A, A. Let's try that together. So if you find your C and A, we'll go after two. Un, ya, C, A, A. I'm gonna put this together. That's half of the first part we've done already, which is fab. So, 
we've got our first shape here, G, D and B, thumb above the black and either side of the red, and we're moving with this pattern three times. And then our last shape to finish off the phrase is C, A, A. Let's try that from the start. Un, ja. We're going to put our thumb on E, our second finger on C. We're going to play our second finger on the C and then we're going to do a little four note scale. So we're going to play C and then go down from E. This is actually the same pattern as we did in that last song, the same notes there. So C and then down from E. Let's try that together after two. One, two. We're going to finish off with two G's. And just use your second finger. So that last line Same thing, one more time. One, two, and. That's the whole of the first part. So not too bad. If we're going a little fast, feel free to pause and just go over any of these sections that you need to. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Not as much, or as many notes to learn as, um, as the first song. Let's play that whole thing um, together. I'll count us in. Nice and smooth. Un, ya. sensible piece. Um, so we're going to have a wee look at the second part. Um, you're going to start this with your second finger on G, missing a string and your thumb on B and we're going to go B, G. So it sounds a bit like a, a doorbell, an old doorbell. So you've got your second finger on G above the black string and your thumb on B below the red string. Not too difficult to find that one. B, G. Let's try that together after two. One, two. G. Now we're going to keep this G on. However, we're going to move our thumb. Our thumb is going to be doing all the moving, but our G is going to stay like a pedal. B, G. Now we're going to move our thumb to D, the other side of the red string. So we had B, G, thumb below the red string, now it's above the red string. Let's try that after two, nice and slowly. Un, ya. C, 
same thing again. Un, ja. It's going to move one more time, our wandering thumb. We're going to move it up one note to E. So it was on D there, above the red string. We're going to move up one string to E. And then we're just going to move it back down to D. So that wee pattern, remember our thumb is staying on G. Not our thumb, our second finger is staying on G. Our thumb is going below the red string, above the red string, up one more note, and to E, back down to above the red string. Let's try that together. Un, ja. Above the red string, up one more. Then we're going to do the first two bits of that section again. So we're going to do the B, G and the D, G. And then we're going to stop. Let's try that wee bit. One, two and... We're going to finish it off with a wee phrase that we've already done. C, A, A. So let's try that together. C, A, a, and this is a phrase we did in the first part. After two, one and two and. Perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play a section and then we'll both play it. I'll play it and then we'll both play it like we did before. I'll start us off. Un, ya. Oh. Un, ya. Thumb up to E. Down one. Let's try that together. One and two. At. I'll do the second line. C A A. Let's try that together. So we're starting back on our G and B. One and two and C A A. And that's bar two. Let's try both those bars together nice and slowly. Un, ya. Raising that thumb. I'll just play it to you. So it's our wandering thumb bit. Let's do that together. One and two and. The last pattern, you already know, we've already done it. It's the same ending as the first part. C, down to four fingers, two Gs. I'll go over that nice and slowly so that you can remember that, but I'm sure your finger, your muscle memory will kick in and you'll remember it. So C to E, so C, and then down four fingers, all next to each other, and then two Gs. Let's try that same thing again. So C, down four fingers and then two G's at the end of that. I'll count this in. One, two. Two G's. And that is the whole of the second part and the whole tune. So we're going to go over that second part together. We'll do it a couple of times and then um, I think we'll just play the whole tune a couple of times through and that'll be us. But, um, but yeah, so let's try that. Let's try that whole second part. So we're starting on our B, G, our doorbell sound. From the very start of the second part. One and two. And. Wandering thumb up one note, back down. Bar 
two starts the same. So B, G, up to D, G, and C, A, A. Back to the start of the second part. Wandering thumb, up one and back down. And then the same ending as before, C up to E, down four notes. Two Gs. Let's do the same thing again. One and two and. from the um, very start. I'll play, maybe I'll play the first part and then we can all play the first part together. Then I'll play the second part and we can all play the second part together. If you find that um, you've picked it up quite quickly and you want to join in the whole time, feel free to. Um, if you've picked it up really quickly, feel free to do a wee G note in the left hand or something. Um, it is in the key of G, so just pedaling a G all the way through would work really, really well. Um, but yeah, we'll take it nice and slowly. So maybe most of you um, who are more beginner, um, then yeah, listen to me play it first and then we'll play it together. And I'll count us in both times. Um, so it should be nice and clear. So we're going to start with our first pattern. See if we can remember this. We had our thumb above the black string and then our other two fingers on either side of the red string. And feel free to just check those, those notes. There are the notes there. So if it sounds like they're the notes that I have there, you're most likely in the right place. Um, I'm going to play the first part. Un, ga, two, four, one, two. I'm going to do it one more time. And then C, A, A. Back to the start. We're going to play the phrase two times now. Then our favourite ending. C up to E, four fingers, two Gs. Let's play that together after two. Un, ga. Up to E, two G's, back to the start again, B and G, 
the end of the tune and before we finish I just want to say a huge thank you um, for you guys watching along and learning all these tunes. I look forward to going and learning all the other stuff that seeing what the other tutors have done. I'm very excited to try them out and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you all next summer and a huge thank you to Faye Shannon for putting this on. I think we're all very grateful and happy that we still get to, to do all this music. Um, and learn all these lovely new things. So um, a huge thank you to them for putting this on for us. And yeah, so to finish off, I'm just gonna play that last reel. And um, I'll play it a couple of times through. I'm not gonna speak through it this time. I'm just gonna get you to listen to the whole thing. So feel free to join in if you want. And um, also use this bit if you, if you feel like you get a little bit co more confident in the tune. Maybe in a couple of weeks time, you can come back to this one and, and see if you can play along with me. Um, so yeah, this is Jumping Geordie and thank you a lot.